Um, so let me just say, okay. So good afternoon, good evening, good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome to this Sunday's presentation. As usual, being a Sunday, we meet and we talk about matters health. And today we are especially privileged to have a fantastic, fantastic uh, guest speaker who is well sought after. Many people have been telling me, can you get Maggie to come and talk to us? And today she's here and she's handling a very, very exciting topic um, on how you can get yourself healthy, how you can eradicate lifestyle diseases in your life and live an energetic life. So without further ado, I want to welcome Maggie Amulavu. Maggie Karibu. Uh, thank you so much, Fred. Thank you, I think I'm visible. Uh, good afternoon, everybody, and uh, good morning for those who might be another place, uh, depending on where you are, and, and good evening for some of us. Uh, I'm so excited to be here this evening. Um, I always look forward to sessions of Neo Life and what we do, I always get so amazed that they are, they're the thing we do is so unique. And just before I go into why we are here this evening, I'll just tell you a little bit about myself. I'm Margaret Amulavu. I am based in Nairobi, Kenya. I am married to Charles. And between us, we've got two adults. I must say they're adults now. We've got two adults and a granddaughter. Actually, our granddaughter turned a year last, uh, two weeks ago. and. Uh, so we've got our son, our first one, and our third one. We don't have the second one. Maybe if we get time, we'll go through that. And I'm excited to be here. I Before this uh, business of health and wellness, I work for an international bank. But after working for this bank for eight and a half years, I chose to resign because I had understood at an early age that it is more important for me uh, to be a parent than to be a worker because I knew I could be an ex-employee, I could be an ex-everything. But I grew up knowing that I could never be an ex-parent, that once you're a parent, you're a parent for life. And so after eight and a half years of working for the bank, I chose to put my career on hold and to take care of my children. And I, for me, that's the best decision I ever made. But one of the things I never regret having gone to the bank is that is where I met my husband, Charles Amulavu, a very supportive guy. He's been there to support me, to motivate me. He's been a, a cheer person. I remember in my earlier years when I couldn't even present, he was my audience. And why I say that uh, I probably went to the bank to get a husband is because when I decided to leave this job, I didn't actually warn him. So I just got into the office one day, I never forget on 30th of September, 1996. And I decided, you know what, I'm not doing this job anyway anymore. Why one had gone home, we'd gone home one evening and our son was three then said his mother doesn't come. He started telling neighbors, anybody who came home, he said, mommy, imagine doesn't come home. And it was true because I was in a bank at a time of transition the earliest I got home was midnight. I left by, by 5 a.m. And so this boy for three years, he had actually not seen me. The long and short of it is after three years, after two years, I got another child. And when I'd gotten my second child after maternity leave is when I decided to leave. The other reason I also left is because I come from a very, very mixed background. My father is a Kenyan. My mother is an, a Malawian. And then I'm married to Charles, who comes from a different part of Kenya, Western Kenya. And so I just thought if my in-laws here don't come home, they'll just think that I'm as confused in my life as I was in my background. And with those two reasons, after getting a second child, I decided to resign. And I, for me, that's the best decision I ever made. And I resigned when I shouldn't have. We had financial commitments. Our son was going to school. I had a younger child. We had a house mortgage. I mean, I just left all these responsibilities to Charles. And uh, the amazing thing is that he didn't throw me out. So I always believe that I went to the bank to I get a husband, and if that's the only reason I went to the bank, I'm happy. So I've done your life for the last 27 years, and it is the best thing that I ever did. I've benefited in immense ways. One of the things I can say, I just turned 57 a week ago, and I don't have any health, anything. I'm not on any one tablet. I just eat and sleep and use what I'm going to talk about this evening. And for me, I believe health is your wealth, the greatest wealth, that at my age of 57, I don't even feel it. If up for the ladies on the call, my menstrual dropped in January. So I believe that even up to about last year, I could still have gotten a child. And it's been an amazing journey just to be that healthy and to have no ailment and not to be on even one tablet. And I think that is amazing. So as we go along, I'll share more about us. And that is what I want to say for now. So I want to, I believe I've got uh, sharing rights and I can share my screen. And I just want to tell us that health is your greatest wealth. Because when you're healthy, everything else goes right. 
but we're in a world where uh, my screen, yeah, great. Let me just put it on slideshow and we'll be there. Good. We're in a world where uh, many of us are not very keen on our health. And I must tell you that health is your greatest wealth because if you're not healthy, then I can assure you nothing else is gonna work. Uh, let me see, my, my, my slides are a little bit slow, but we will, we will go on as we just wait for it to come on. But I think I'm already on the first slide. Mm -hmm. just, just click on slideshow up there. I've actually done that, but I think my- Click on slideshow up there. Then you start from I... the beginning. Let me see. Okay, I've seen it here. Yeah. I think I'd not, yeah, okay. Start from the beginning. Okay, yeah, thank you, Fred. It's called technology, but also, yes, great. Okay, yeah, I think we are there. And I'm just saying that today I decided that I wanna focus on the whole family on health and wellness. And like Fred said, it is from sick and tired to vitality, energy. And, and I can relate with that. I can relate with that a lot. I remember that from the bank, we were in a house with a masonate where we bought our first house. And I remember coming home and I couldn't go upstairs because I was too tired. If I went up, that was it. And if I came down, that was it because I was just tired, chronic fatigue. And the state in which you sleep is the state in which you wake up. And so I was forever tired. And so I was sick and tired of being sick and tired. And I just didn't know what to do. And it didn't matter how long I rested, I was still tired. And I know that there are a number of people who can relate with that uh, of fatigue and you're not sick. There's nothing wrong with you, but when they check on you, they just say you're got chronic fatigue and you're not able to do anything. What can we do about it? I want to tell you this evening, I believe that what we have to share and the person who invited is a great friend of yours. Somebody really cares for you more than a brother than a sister because this evening we are going to understand what that is. And so we are just saying that health, for you to be healthy, you need three things. You need exercise, you need diet and rest. And I know for exercise, we understand. Three times a week, you need to do 15 to 20 minutes of exercise. And I know most of us understand exercise and really don't have an issue with that. We, and exercise does not mean going to the gym. It just means 15, 20 minutes walk. For me, I like a skipping rope. I, I actually carry a skipping rope, where, a rope wherever I go. Because I realize with skipping, you need a very, very small space. And then you can use the staircase. Dancing is also a form of exercise, very good for the young people. And you realize they can do all sorts of moves. That's excellent exercise. Then for rest, we understand that um, you need to at least rest six to eight hours in a, in, a, in, a, in a night or in a day because some people are on night shift. And if you don't rest well, your brain is compromised, doesn't work very well. And some of the accidents that we see actually as this on these Kenyan roads that are here is that people misjudge because the brain is not able to function because you've not rested well. And then there are also some body functions that only take place when you rest which means when you don't rest the six to eight hours, you're actually compromising not only your system and not to mention some people have actually got weight because of not resting six to eight hours. So if you've got any of those things I'm talking about, just check that you may not be resting enough. And then our diet, that is the one thing that we don't, we, we understand, but we also don't understand. And we say may, food can make or break you. What you eat or fail to eat can determine what is gonna happen. And I believe that at the end of today, we will understand what we need to do. Now, there's some dietary facts, and I'm just gonna put them there. 95% of what we eat lacks nutrients. We have been called an overfed society and undernourished. In other words, we just, we're behaving like our bodies are a dustbin can. We just throw anything provided you get full. And then you're not caring about the nutritional value. Is it of value or not provided you just get full? And then 75% are consuming foods that are incorrect. Incorrect means, you know they're poisonous, you know they're dangerous, but we still take them. And a result of that, we've got a challenge. And this is usually our health status. But up to about 25, we are very, very vibrant. You find that children can play the whole day and they don't have an issue at all. In fact, they can almost go without food and they can run around up and down endless energy, almost like an energizer battery. By the time you're getting to about 35, 40, 50, that you're so tired. I mean, you're just tired. Fatigue is the order of the day and you're just tired. Nothing wrong with you when they check your temperature, your everything, you're just tired. And then lo and behold, when you reach over 50, 60, 70, you're sick. And this tends to be our trend. And so we are saying that you're probably only vibrant until 25. And so you're going to, if you're going to leave this earth at 80, 
It means for almost over 50 years, you're in the tired and sick zone. And that means you might not be very effective. And I believe this is a thing that makes people feel like, I don't really want to live until I'm that old. I think I, I don't want to be that old because they look at old people and they've got all these diseases and they just look like a rug of somebody. And you're thinking, is this really what it is when we say that you want a, a long life? Is this what it is about being carried everywhere, being taken care of, being bathed? But we are saying that need not be. I believe that what we are going to discuss today is going to help us be vibrant until the day we are supposed to leave this earth when we've served the Lord and we've done our all. And this is what is recommended by the World Health Organization or people that are keen in health. And we are saying that right at the bottom, the first thing you need to do is manage the weight. We call it, uh, you need to know your BMI, uh, weight management, because if you are underweight or overweight, both are dangerous. There is where you ought to be. And there's something we call BMI, body mass index, and that's why when you go to a doctor, the first thing they do is put you on a weighing scale. Of course, they are not telling you what they are doing and they can tell you you're okay, you are over, you are under. And most of us do not understand. So this evening, once we get off this call, kindly ask the person who invited you that they help you do your BMI, that at your height, you're supposed to be certain, uh, a certain kilos. And if you're under or below, it is dangerous. In fact, being underweight is probably worse than being overweight. And weight has got a lot of issues. Weight can give you heart attack. Weight, weight can give you diabetes. Weight can give you blood pressure. Weight can give you arthritis, not to mention even cancer. The chronic diseases that we are so scared of. Weight can give you diabetes, you know? And so we are saying it is a big deal. So we need to know our, our BMI. Then 40% of our diet needs to be whole grains. And whole grains are, un, are, 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 are unprocessed foods or unrefined foods. They're usually brown in color, not very nice tasting. They don't even look as good, but you fill up in very small portions. And so uh, most people do, have never seen brown food. I mean, uh, brown bread, not brown bread. I mean, whole meal, whole meal. If I took bread, for example, a whole meal bread, the cost is about three to four times the, the cost of normal bread. So whole meal foods usually look brown in color and they're not very tasty. You know, these days we are eating according to taste, if I like the taste, but we are saying you need to look at the nutritional value. Then 30% of your diet needs to be fruits and vegetables. And for fruits and vegetables, we look at colors. We say you need to eat six to nine different colors of fruits and vegetables. But where we are at, most of us eat the fruit of the season. Like now we are about getting to July there, you're gonna find that there are a lot of oranges and most people will eat the fruit of the season or there are some fruits not just found within the area that you are. So we are saying for fruits and vegetables, you need to look at colors, six to nine different colors, fruits and vegetables. And fruits and vegetables are in categories. They're what we call carotenoids. Carotenoids are the brightly colored fruits and vegetables, the yellow, the green, the red. Then we've got the flavonoids, the deep color purple, the grapes. Uh, there's even a purple kind of uh, uh, um, cabbage. They're originally deep dark colors. And then we got the cruciferous, things like the broccoli, the cabbage fall in that category. So, for that, so in that category of those different three types of fruits and vegetables, you need to eat six to nine colors so that you've got a good immune system. And then 20% of your diet need to be protein and especially red meat. Uh, most of us eat red meat and for red meat, we are saying a, a, kilo, uh, a quarter kilo, which is about 250 grams, should actually be eaten by 12 people and a child because you only need 20 grams. That means three to four pieces, especially if it is red meat. And then 10% is where we are saying take fats and sugars because right from the bottom, when you started eating the whole grains, the fruits and veggies, the protein, all of them have got a bit of fat and a bit of sugar. So as for the refined sugar, you need very, very little. For example, we say if you take tea, you should not do more than six teaspoons in a day. And I'm using tea because where I'm married, We've got a very big cup of tea and we take, actually we could be consuming even quarter kg of sugar in the name of taking tea. So you only need about six teaspoons. Your system cannot cope with more than six. And then drinking water, we need two to two and a half liters of water daily. And I know there are a number of people who say me, I can't drink water, it doesn't taste nice. It's not even about the taste, water is just water. And you find drinking water is a bit of a challenge. Maybe you can sweeten it with honey or drop something like lemon. Because when you don't take water, water, when you say you're taking it in tea, in juices, it's like putting diesel in a petroleum car and that tells you to not work very well. So water is just water because 70% of your body functions actually are dependent on water. Fluid, they're actually fluid, 70% of your body, which means if you're not having enough water, 
Dehydration has actually been proved to give people kidney issues, just not taking enough water because then your urine is so concentrated and then the, the hydraulic fluid in it is so much that it starts damaging the kidney and eventually you might have to go for dialysis, simply not taking water. So two to two and a half liters means it's about eight glasses of water in a day. But statistics are telling us this is what we are doing. What we should be eating the least is what we are eating the most. So anytime we eat processed foods, white rice, white chapati, I'm using the Kenyan example, maybe in the country where you are in, you can think of what you relate in these things. Eating a lot of white-based foods, fast foods, they just put a lot of sugar in your system. Uh, those of us who are in school, of course, we all when we went to school, we used to call it simple sugars. In other words, it just converts to glucose. And then protein, most of us eat a lot of red meat. And the problem of red meat is that it does not digest, it actually rots. And it takes three days to do that. And in the process, it gives you acid. So when you've got too much sugar from the processed foods and the acid that is from red meat, you're actually growing cancer cells. That is actually food for cancer cells because most of us are saying, where is this cancer coming from? That is, diet is one of the areas it's coming from. There could be other factors, hereditary factors. It could be back due to the environment. It could be to, the, uh, to where you live. But we are just saying that food contributes actually almost 70% of the diseases that we are getting. So we are saying, can we address what we are at least in charge of? We are not in charge of the environment, probably, even where you live and the air that you breathe. But we are saying that what we put into our mouth and what we apply on our bodies and what we grow our, our, our farm produce with, we are in charge and we can do something. For fruits and vegetables, like in Kenya, where I live, Every hospital has got a fruit and vegetable uh, place before the hospital. So we seem to understand that when people are sick, we actually take them a fruit or a vegetable. But when they get out, we start eating the fast foods and the processed foods again. And then whole grains are things that people don't even know. Uh, they're not even aware they exist. And if they do, people see you eating whole grain food and they're saying you must be sick, which is true because now your body is wearing out and so you need to fix it. And then as for exercise, oh, that is now another thing. Some people here in Kenya will say, you know what, I'm not Kipchoge, so there's no price for me. So what is all this thing about exercise? One of the things about exercise, it actually gives you what we call happy hormones, and it's also anti-stress. So some of these things that we are getting, if we just did a bit of exercise or at least for some body movement, it would help us. The biggest is an anti-stress, uh, hormones are produced, and then you're just happy. So some of these people who are very upset and very angry, they probably just need to go and take some fresh air out there. And then when your blood circulation is good, even your brain function is very, very good. Your alertness and concentration is on another level and you're able to sort your things in a faster and easier way. Now, we are also saying, like I mentioned, I want to tackle health uh, in the family base because we got children, uh, we've got the teenagers, we got the adults, we got the old age. And I thought for this session, we need to start it from the foundation because the foundation is very, very key. One of the things I wanna say is that there's something called a thousand days. The first a thousand days of a child's life will determine what they will suffer from or not suffer from, depending on what you have been eating right from when you are pregnant. So we count a thousand days, the nine months of pregnancy, then we count the first year and the second year, and that's what we call the a thousand days. So if you took care of the first thousand days, it means that child is good to go. And so we are saying, first of all, when you're pregnant, you need to eat the right things. One of the things that you should never miss out when you're just pregnant is fish oil, and not just any fish oil. There's a fish oil called salmon oil, omega-3. Uh, when you're pregnant, the first part that forms is the brain, and the brain needs what we call fatty acids. Not all cholesterol is bad. There's a type of cholesterol called fatty acids that are good for, for you, because most of the time we hear cholesterol and we are thinking cholesterol is bad. And there's a good cholesterol, and the one that for the for the one that needs for functioning and formation of the brain when one gets pregnant is called the fatty acids, and they are found in fish oil. And so we are saying those are very key because if the brain does not form well, believe you me, nothing else will work because that means that your whole system is compromised. Remember, the brain is the one that coordinates everything. And I just want to mention at this point when I'm just talking about pregnancy, is that when you don't take enough fish oil. The child will not suffer, it's the mother who will suffer. Uh, most of us, if you've ever had a child, you're going to realize that the more children a mother has, the more forgetful she becomes. 
And it's because she's not taking any other thing inside. With every child she gets, more and more of her fatty acids are going. And so it's like her brain is getting smaller and smaller and no wonder her memory is getting very, very compromised. So fish oil, very, very key when you're pregnant because you need it for the fatty acids, not only for you and also for that child. And not only are we saying that is good, the omega-3 fatty acids are very key for joints, alertness, for concentration, in managing blood pressure, and wet eyes, there are people whose eyes just look like they are always tearing eyes. Omega-3 will do that. Omega-3 will also protect the reproductive organs and the heart, not to mention that it controls blood pressure and as a result makes the heart function very, very key. The other thing that is very key when we are expectant is folic acid. Folic acid is a form of a vitamin B. And vitamin Bs are very key because they help they form the, 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 the nervous system. And if your nervous system is not working well, you are in a lot of problems. And um, uh, some of the things that are, are formed during the first three months, actually a baby forms in only three months in the first trimester. And that's why you get a lot of challenges in the first trimester. Mara, there's almost a threatening of the baby coming out because the body is feeling like there's a foreign organ that is inside. So the first three months are very, very key because that is when all the development, is, all the growth happens. And then from there, the development actually happens in the first trimester. And the six to the other from three to, to other nine, the, the next three, six months is actually development of what has already formed. So you can see if the foundation is not good, then you're going to have a problem. So folic acids helps with things like when people can find themselves throwing up, they've got a problem with nausea, the folic acid helps. The folic acid also helps in formation of the spinal cord. If the spine does not form well, oh my goodness, you've got enough challenge, nerve coordination, the messages, the messages are, are transmitted through the nervous system. One of the biggest challenges with folics is something called spinal bifida, where the child has no control over excretion. They excrete anything at any time. And therefore, if the spine did not develop well, it means that person will be on diaper for the rest of their lives. Just because, can you imagine, of something that we call folic acid, that is very, very key. The other thing about folic that is very good, it gives you very good energy levels, because as you get pregnant now, it's like you're having to cater for two people, your energy levels get quite com compromised. And then the folic acid or the B vitamins also help with your blood levels. Because most people, when they also expect and they've got anemia or their blood level is not as good. And remember, you need a good blood level because it is the blood that helps to circulate food in your system. Where blood cannot reach, food cannot reach. So you need to have adequate blood so that we do not give the heart a difficult time. Because if your blood is too little, it means the heart has to overwork to circulate the little blood that is available. And that is, can be quite dangerous. You can come up with heart issues that you didn't have. The other very important one is calcium and iron. Because when you're pregnant as a woman, especially, the bone formation of that child will come from you. And so it means if you're not the one taking enough calcium, you're going to get a problem. And wonder many people when they're expecting they've got issues with their teeth, some are rotting, They've got issues with their joints, back aches, and the bones, they're getting weaker and smaller, and it's just because of the calcium supplement. And also calcium is very, very key for an expectant person, because when you go and give birth and you didn't take enough calcium, then you don't get what something we call coagulation. There's a level at which blood should clot so that you don't overbleed. And most women have been known to bleed to death. Can you imagine it's just a calcium? that they did not take enough of, and therefore the blood cannot clot the way it ought to as you're giving birth. So you can see these are very, very basic things that are really needed. And then of course, iron works with the vitamin B to give you enough blood levels, uh, something we call hemoglobin, uh, the red blood cells that are needed. And then of course, the body to produce antibodies that are also needed. So we are saying that right there, pregnancy, those are the key things that you need. And we are also saying at infancy and lactation, there are certain things that you need. You can see that child height is growing right from the bottom on the right to up. We are saying they are milestones. They are called milestones. And if you realize for those of us who have had children, when we get children, they start counting weeks. And people keep on wondering, why are they counting weeks? Because in the initial years, actually in the initial almost two years, children's development is very, very amazing. So we start with weeks because after about six months, Actually, up to about six months, the child grows in weeks. Every week, there is a change. Every week, there is a change. Right from hearing to seeing to testing to smelling to hearing. Up to, that's why they count in weeks in the initial months. And then from six months up to two years, we count actually in months. You hear there are 18 months, 24 months. 
And people are thinking, why don't you just say this child is one and a half years or two years? Because now from six months, they now actually start growing in months up to up to 24 months. And that is why I'm telling you the first thousand days, which goes to up to those 24 months is very, very key because it will determine whether that child will grow in the milestones it should. Milestone is like we are saying, maybe at about four, five months, the child should be sitting down. By around five, six months, they're already getting teeth. By a year, they are walking. So those are what we call milestones. So it means that if you do not have in, take enough nutrition as a parent, as a mother, when you're expecting, it means that child's growth is going to have an issue. So in infancy and lactation, lactation is just that breastfeeding period. We are saying that certain nutrients that you need in your body so that as a child breastfeeds, they are getting those nutrients right from their body. And we are saying these are the key ones. Omega-3, there again it comes. Because when you take omega-3 as a mother, as a child breastfeeds, they are getting the omega-3. Uh, there are some vitamins which you call trace minerals. And trace minerals are vitamins that are needed by the body in very small percentages. But if they are not there, they give you a compromise. There are three very key ones. One is iron. And these trace minerals are usually difficult to absorb. But they are needed in such small percentages. But if they are not there, then they'll give you a problem. Something like iron. If you don't have enough iron, you've got issues with your blood levels, you've got brittle nails, you get easily irritable. And then something like calcium, there's also iodine. There are people who come up with a thyroid issue because they are not having enough of the iodine, which is what helps them to, fu to function the thyroid gland. And the thyroid gland is so key. You'll not be believe that the thyroid gland can give you depression if it's not functioning well. The thyroid gland can help make you have temperature issues, up and down temperatures that are not stable. So you can see that these minerals are really, really needed. And then, of course, we talked of calcium because the bone formation of this child depends on you. I don't know whether you've seen people who get children and after a year, the child cannot stand because the bones didn't form well. They even get rickets. They are too weak to support the, the system. And then, of course, we are saying they, of course, then go into early adulthood, during adulthood, and you can see all these children happy and nice. And those of us on the call, you know that if your children are not healthy, there is nothing as bad as a sick child because it means everything of yours is compromised. And so we are saying that as the children grow up, you also need to take care of them. Some of the things that they need in their early childhood are proteins. Um, proteins in school, we call them building blocks. And there are three things that a protein will do. One of the things that protein will do is that it will help you to form enzymes. Enzymes are catalysts or something that helps to break down food so that that food can convert and give you energy. If you don't have the right combination of protein, you don't get enzymes and as a result, you get allergy because your body is not producing the enzymes that break down that food to give you energy. So protein, very, very key. The other thing that protein does, it gives you antibodies that help to fight disease in your body. If you don't have certain antibodies, people keep on falling sick so often, they should take what kind of protein are they taking? Because it probably means they're not taking a whole protein that can help to form antibodies that would then give them protection. The other final thing that proteins help in is hormones and hormones, my God, are very key. Your whole body system is regulated by hormones and, and, and key hormones, even the feminine, uh, the feminine system is controlled by hormones, the male one, even things like insulin are actually a hormone. Insulin, I'm talking about it, that uh, comes down to diabetes because if somebody is diabetic, their system is not able to produce that hormone called insulin. And as a result, the blood levels are going up and down. So you can see proteins are very, very key that you can actually not do without them. Of course, we did talk of omega-3. Omega-3, you need it from even before you were born all the way till the day death do us part because you need your brain functioning through and through and through. Then of course there's calcium, the bone mass, because actually girls need more calcium than boys. Girls should actually start taking calcium as early as nine years. And they say girls who take calcium grow taller than those ones who don't. Because for us ladies or girls, when they start the menstrual, this, the calcium starts going down. And as a result, if we don't take calcium, we start getting very, very weak bones. And with time you hear somebody fell and broke the hip bone, Mary, you're going to get uh, issues. Like I said, when you're pregnant, you're going to overbleed. So calcium, very, very key, not to mention that the rotting of teeth and the weak bones. And you can see that calcium there is a very, very key item that is needed through and through. And as for us women, again, if you don't take enough calcium, you're going to get osteoporosis where your bones are so weak. And with time, women get shorter. I don't know if you've looked at men, they hardly have issues with calcium. 
And I just want to give you some homework. Go maybe places and see people who as old as old as the older they get, there's a gap between their teeth. From one teeth to another, there are just spaces that occur. Why? If you don't take enough calcium, your body is not going to refuse to function. Because remember, I told you calcium has got a role in blood that we call coagulation. Like when you get a cut, the blood should clot and stop stop running out. So if you're not having enough calcium, you don't have that coagulation. And so blood can run out and run out until you have no more blood. And then, of course, magnesium. Calcium and magnesium work together. Like when you blink your eyes, that is magnesium working. When you open up your hand, when you fold this calcium, when you open it up, you need magnesium. Then there is vitamin D. And there are very interesting studies that have been done about vitamin D. Uh, we take it for granted. Like here in Africa, we are able to get vitamin D like throughout the year because we've got the sunshine. And then what's amazing is that people who have dark skinned require more sun exposure than people who are light skinned. And because of that, vitamin D is very key in immunity and also in helping prevent depression. Many people take their children out of this country or out of Africa to go and study in the European nations. Nothing wrong with it. But if you realize there are countries even nine, nine months in a year, they don't get any sun. And you find children who go out, especially from our African continent to the other continents where there is a variance as far as the sunshine is concerned. Those children get a lot of depression and don't do well. And somebody is thinking, I've paid all this money and taken this child out, and they're not doing well. Why? Because they don't have vitamin D. Because vitamin D will help prevent depression. And then to, to mention it has got a function in immunity. So we are saying that these things these children need. Of course, all the vitamins, the minerals, antioxidants, some um, antioxidants are things that help something we call oxidation. We say the enemy to aging is actually inflammation and oxidation. And the easiest way to explain oxidation is uh, in our African setting, we usually light firewood or we use charcoal. And you realize when you've just lit the fire, there's some smoke that comes out before the fire takes off finally. And that kind of a smoke is something that happens in our body as food burns to give us energy. There are some things that are burning that are not useful in the body, which call oxidants, and they need to be taken care of. So you need an antioxidant that captures that oxidation so that the wear and tear is reduced. So antioxidant acts like soldiers at the round the cell so that things do not get in. If I was to take a building, like they're like the soldiers would take bad at the entrances so that things do not happen. And then we move on and we are just looking at the different uh, protein uh, that are needed. You're going to realize at different ages, you need different amounts of protein because of how your body is working. Right here, I want to go into something. Like I mentioned, there are things that are needed. And these are some of the things that children need to prevent disease. Remember, disease is very, very expensive. You cannot afford not to be well. And like I said, children require more nutritional uh, intake than we do. Because remember, they are growing. We call it cell division. The rate at which the cells are dividing for children is so high that if you don't do it properly, if they don't have the nutrients that they need, that cell division doesn't take place well and they can't grow well. And that means in their adulthood, they are going to suffer, not to mention when they grow old. And so we are saying that if you start children on a good foundation, then you do not have to worry what happens for the rest of their lives. They're gonna be healthy and that means they will get value for their lives and they can do so much more. So I will quickly just run through these products and I'll ask if you're on the call and you're a guest, you'll kindly talk to the person who invited you to give you more details of these products. We've got like a constraint of time and I just want to keep time because we usually just do an hour. And so if you find me talking fast, maybe you put up your hand just in case. I, I know that I can talk very, very fast, but in case I do that, just put up your hand and I'll be able to slow down a little bit. So the first thing that you need, we are involved in a company that is called Neolife. Next time I think of Neolife, I always thank the Lord because I don't know where I would have been. I've been in it 27 years and I don't know what else I could be doing. And Your Life is a company that started in the US in the United States of America in a small town called California. And it was started by a gentleman called Jerry Brassfield who is still alive, he's about 90 years now. And Jerry came across this product through his mother because he was asthmatic as a child. And asthma is really something. Asthma, if the weather changes, you cannot breathe. If you go up a, up a building, you can maybe not even get air. 
People who have got asthmatic children go for something we call nebulization. They can't actually breathe and they're put on a machine to breathe. How much more if you knew there's something you can do right from when even you give birth when you're pregnant and do something that can help take care of things like that and prevent disease. So we are advocating for prevention. And we are saying there's something you and I can do that is available that can help you. So these products are for children and they're done in a way that children can take them with ease. They're actually in the form of a suite. Uh, I might just say very little about them, but I'll ask you to talk to the person who invited you. So this is our multivite called Vita Square. It's got all the vitamins and minerals that a child needs. And one of the key products that is in this, in this um, item is something called zinc that actually determines the milestones. Some children don't grow at the rate they should because they don't have enough of what we call zinc, a mineral that helps with growth. The other very key thing that is in this product is whole grains. And like I said, whole grains are brown in color and whole grains allow the food to be utilized better in the cells and allow something we call cellular nutrition. They allow your cells to draw in food and remove waste. So that multivite very key with all the vitamins and minerals it's in form of a sweet, and the biggest thing it will do, it will give your child natural appetite and remove cravings. Cravings are things that we desire that are not very useful to our bodies, like sweets, chocolate, you just want sweet things. It means something is compromised in your body. So Vita Squares will give your child all the vitamins and minerals that they need, then they can grow at the pace that they should, and then of course go through the milestones, and that means they'll be healthier for a longer time. Then our VitaGuard is actually our antioxidant. Remember I told you antioxidants are things that help with what we call oxidation. They help to put soldiers outside the cells so that things that should not go in don't go in. And our VitaGuard is very amazing. When we started off, I did mention that we've got three types of fruits and vegetables. Now VitaGuard has actually got all the three. It's got carotenoids, it's got flavonoids, and it's got cruciferous, all in one. And this is the soldier. This is what boosts immunity in your child. VitaGuard, when combined with VitaSquare, will take the care of things like leukemia. Leukemia is blood cancer. And remember, I mentioned that cancer is coming from the fast foods that we are eating and the lot sugar of sugar we are putting in. So VitaGuard will help produce anti-cancer cells. And as a result of that, especially leukemia, blood cancer, these products are able to help to relieve things like that. And if you take them even earlier, it means you don't have to wait until you go there. Then we did talk of the, about the right combination of protein when I started. We've got a protein drink called NutriShake, but now we don't have NutriShake in our markets because we've have got a better and uh, a better quality product called Neolife Shake. And Neolife Shake is an advanced form of NutriShake because we, the older ones of us, I know we are stuck on NutriShake. NutriShake has just got 17 vitamins and minerals, but Neolife Shake has got 25. And this is why I said that it helps your body to form enzymes that break down food and so you cannot get allergies. So you find children with allergies, uh, they've got skin issues, there are things they cannot eat. So put them on the NutriShake, on, on the Neolife Shake, and those will be things that are gone. And Neolife Shake is in a form of a meal. So if a child is not eating well, if they have taken the Neolife Shake, they're as good as, as good. They just supplement with proper food and then a bit of the Neolife Shake and they are good to go. And then Liquivite is for the younger children who are not able to take the Vita Squares and Vita Guard because they are in form of a sweet, they can't suckle well. Then the tree, Liquivite just means liquid vitamin. And this Liquivite actually has got a bit of the Vita Squares and Vita Guard in combination in one, so that a child who is not able to take a, a suckle well, uh, the Vita Squares and Vita Guard, they can actually use Liquivite. Now, the only thing you need to know about Liquivite is that once you buy an open, you need to put it in the refrigerator below 25 um, degrees because it almost behaves like an antibiotic. It doesn't have anything that can maintain it. It's very natural, so it needs to be refrigerated. Then we move to the young adults, and the young adults, we said they need omega-3 or the fish oil, and this is what it will do. It will keep their health, their cardiovascular system. Cardiovascular is just the heart function. Everything to do with the heart, the circulation, how blood moves, the exchange of blood, we call that the cardio system, the heart function. And inflammatory, inflammation is the, the, the swellings. Uh, there are people who get swellings and pains in the joints. So omega-3 is an inflammatory, very, very good. And then it, it, it supports the integrity of the nervous system, which just means you're going to have a good nervous system that when something happens, your nervous system can transmit messages all the way up. And then co cognitive function, it means you're able to recognize that children with omega-3 their brain function is higher and better and they can recognize things. 
And then it also supports emotional health. There are people who their emotion uh, keeps on going up and down. Some children throw tantrums. Imagine if you gave them omega-3, that's a thing of the past. Not to mention the skin and it supports in healing. That's how our omega-3 looks like. I'll run quickly through the products because there are a few things I want to tell you about these products that are very unique. And then we did talk about the bones. And this is where now the calcium comes in, that the calcium will come and support the bones. And then we said, we talked about magnesium and vitamin D. Now, what is amazing, we've got a product that has got calcium, magnesium, and vitamin D all in one. And remember, we said calcium is very, very key for the bones and teeth. Because if you don't have enough calcium, your blood already needs it for coagulation. So if you don't have your bones and the teeth will get compromised. And we said if you lack vitamin D, other than the fact that you can get depressed and that your bones can get compromised, it can actually lead to depression if you're lacking vitamin D. And then for teenage, this is what the teenagers can use. Uh, they can use what we call a provitality pack. Provitality has got the whole grains, it's got the fish oil, it's got the fruits and vegetables and a multivitamin. And then of course, we've got a multimineral. This multimineral is very, very key. The same way we've got a multivitamin, we've got a multimineral. And I said that there are things that are called stress minerals. In minerals, there's what we call macro and micro. Macro means the major ones, micro means smaller ones. Our multimineral has got all the three, all the two, and then it's got alfalfa. And I said it has stress minerals that the body needs in very, very small percentages. And if they are not there, it becomes a problem. Like one of the very key ones that is found there, apart from zinc, um, calcium, and iron, there's actually something like selenium and chromium, and those help the body function. Something like chromium is very, very needed, especially for diabetic people, because diabetic people get like a sense of burning in their system. And the core chromium that is found in multimineral actually assists them not to have that, that problem. Multimineral is very, very key also for some people. After they give birth, they get something we call oedema or they've got water retention. The people have got weight, but their weight is not the issue. It is the water retention or people when they travel, their legs swell. It means their water retention is very high. So multimineral will help to remove that excess water. And then also in multimineral is found iodine for people with thyroid issues. And we mentioned that the thyroid controls the temperatures in our body. So if thyroid is not working well, you've got temperature issues, not to mention you can get depression if your thyroid is not working well. People who are pregnant and they've got thyroid issues they can actually even miscarry. So that's a very, very key product. Multimineral is also very needed by ladies. Uh, there are people who bleed for so long and they're always anemic. Multimineral will control that continuous uh, bleeding that happens during our menstrual. And then zinc, zinc is especially key as, a, as an immune booster. And for men, it helps, the zinc helps to protect the prostate and helps the prostate to function well. And then zinc is very, very key also for healing, there are people who, after they get a wound, they take forever to heal. Zinc, very, very key. It will speed in the healing. So when people have gone through cesarean, when somebody's being operated, or you've got a major illness, zinc will help you to recover very quickly. And then zinc also helps with colds and flus. Uh, during the seasons when you've got flus that seem to be going round and round, zinc can actually help. I already talked about the New Life Shake and the fact that it's a protein drink. The key thing about our New Life Shake is got what we call amino acids. 22 of them, most of the health drinks have got about 14. And a product that is not complete is not going to give you value. It's like throwing your money down a pitless bottom that is not going to give you value. So our New Life Shake, an excellent drink. And there you can see we've got three flavors. We've got strawberry, we've got chocolate, and then we've got vanilla. And then we've got feminine herbal. Mm, this one, I'll forever be grateful for it. You know, uh, when men start behaving with moods, they say you are as moody as a woman. But then the men don't understand where our moods come from. The life of a woman is very interesting. Right from when we start our menstrual, when we get into puberty, some people started as early as 12, 13. And so your hormones are already changing. You go through childbearing. And when you're about 45, 50, your menstrual stops. You start going through what we call menopause. And so the feminine system is changing from time to time. And now because of these changes that have to do with our menstrual cycle, that is what actually gives us the mood, the moods and the mood swings because the hormones are not the same through the month. Now, this product will make sure that your moods are the same from when the month started to the end. In fact, nobody needs to know anything is happening to you because most of us, when we've got our menstrual cycle, everybody knows you are irritable, you are moody, you are bloating. 
you're not digesting well, you're not sleeping well. And so we are saying this product will sort out the woman. It will balance your hormones. If you've got an irregular cycle, it will make it regular. What do I mean an irregular cycle? A woman will either have between 21 and 35 days. By the way, up to 35 is very normal. We are so different that our systems operate differently. So it might mean that this month you get your cycle after 21 days, and then another month it goes to 28, another month you miss out, so you're not understanding. So as a woman, if you don't have a regular cycle, you cannot conceive. You can only be pregnant six, six days in a, in, a, in a month. So those six months is when you have your ovulation. So it can only pre get predetermined with a regular cycle. So feminine will sort out those mood swings, the pains and the cramps that make some people not go to work when they got them. It will help you with your menstrual flow that makes you anemic. So as a lady, if you find a lady, another lady is always anemic. Just ask them that they are no, their hormones are not working well and they need the feminine herbal. Because just being anemic and taking iron and vitamin B, getting blood every other month is not going to help because the hormones are the issue. Of course, I did mention about calcium. So this is what we are saying. Women can take and have discussed about it briefly. The only one that I need to add on is this cruciferous. This cruciferous is very key. The cruciferous type of vegetable, the broccoli, the cabbage kind of vegetables, this product actually eats cancer cells, this particular one, this cruciferous. And one is to take a cruciferous vegetable one serving a day, and it prevents all hormonal cancers. Hormonal cancers, the breast, the cervical, the, 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 um, for the men, the postrates, all these hormonal cancers, this particular product can actually prevent. And you just need one a day, just one tablet are serving a day. And so you can see these products are going to help you to prevent disease. We are not saying here that we are doctors, but we are saying there are certain things you can do and not wait to be sick because there's something you can do. Then for the men, this is what we have for the men. For the men, I already talked about the provitality, and you can see zinc has been mentioned there again. When zinc combines with the omega-3 in this product, it actually helps to do a very good job for the men. And for the men, the zinc is key in protecting and, pro and protecting your prostate. Then zinc works together with masculine. Masculine herbal is a product for men to help them with their postrate gland. Every man 35 and over should always protect their postrate. Now, I know most people don't even understand what the postrate is. When you've got a postrate issue, you feel like you want to urinate and the urine doesn't even come out. It's like there's always a little bit of it left that comes out in form of drops. And no wonder they say as men get older in their old age, they say they are always having an order of urine. It's because those droplets that were left drop off without you knowing. And then the balls become so hard and that is already a challenge. It means there is already a blockage, especially to do with urine. And therefore it is important that men take masculine herbal to protect themselves, that they don't have to get a prostate issue and die out of prostate. Because if we have no men, we have no children, and that will already interfere with our populations and our next generation. So this is what men can do. Now, as we come to an end, I just want to say a few things about our products, even as I conclude, I want to stop sharing. And I just want to say a few things in the next about two or three minutes that makes our products very, very exclusive. Because I know you've heard about supplements, it's not a new thing. And I tell people supplementation is not even new. People who keep animals, cows and chicken, they're always buying supplements. Imagine you go to the shop or to the pharmacist or to the agrovet to buy supplements for chicken and you are not taking anything. A farmer buys something for the cow to produce more milk. So supplementation is not even new. It's only that maybe we've never thought that far that if I'm giving animals, I also need it. Now, some very key things that make our products very unique. Number one, they're whole food, meaning they work exactly how food works. If you took our carotenoid that has got about seven types of fruits and vegetables, how you feel when you take it and eat the fruits and vegetables is exactly the same, meaning there's no compromise in our products because we've got a scientific advisory board that does the research and quality control of our products. Our products are made up to a standard and not down to a price. What do they mean? They look at everything a product like carotenoid needs, they put everything in it, then they put a cost. Most of the other companies, we look at how much they think Africans or East Africans or people in Europe can afford. And if it's maybe, it's maybe $10 or $1,000, $1,000 would be too much. Maybe a $10, $10 here in Kenya is about 1,000 shillings. Maybe in the country that you are in, you could look at what $10 means for you. And they'll just say, this is what these people in this area can afford. So we only put things worth $10. Neolife will put everything that is needed in a product 
and then cost it. And so it means our product will be good for you as value for your money. So one of the things, our products are made from whole food. They have no GMO. And I know there's a lot of talk of GMO. What we mean by GMO, genetically modified foods, is that once the crops doesn't get as much diseases and doesn't get infected by some certain things in the environment. But the challenge is, if you take like GMO maize, once you grow it, you cannot replant it. It can gr not grow back. Each time you want to plant it, you have to get a new seed. That is the problem. It cannot reproduce itself. And that is already a problem. So we are saying that our products don't have GMO. And when you eat GMO food, it means also your development is very, very fast. And there are things that can get compromised. The other thing about our products is something we call bioavailability. What percentage of what you are taking is going to work in your body? I remember during COVID, our vitamin C, we were saying take 500 milligrams and the recommended was a thousand and people felt like we had a compromised vitamin C, but I was telling them, no, what we call bioavailability, the percentage that works in your body when you take our vitamin C is quite different from a vitamin C that is done in the lab or is done in a compromised way. So you find you need lower dosages because what, what you take in, all of it gets to work in your body and it's called bioavailability. What percentage gets to work in your body? The other thing about our products, there's something we call sustained release, found in, in vitamin B and C especially, because they are what we call water soluble. Water soluble means those type of vitamins, especially B and C, if you take them in the presence of water, whatever has not worked just goes down the toilet. So sustained release helps that particular vitamin stay in your body up to six hours, meaning it can get more utilized compared to if you just took any other vitamin C or vitamin B. So we call that function sustained release or time release. It takes longer in your system and gives you value for money. The other technology that is found in our products is something called chelation or chelation, depending on where, who your teacher is. Chelation is a process where they add certain amino acids to help in absorption. There are three minerals that are very difficult to absorb. Zinc, iron, and calcium. Those ones, they need help. And most people get deficient in those ones because though you eat food, they are not easily absorbed. In your life, ours are called chelated. So that chelation process, they've attached amino acids to those three items and they're able to absorb in your system very, very easily. So those are some of the technologies that you find in our products that are very, very unique. As I finish, I want to talk about our fish oil. And now I'm talking about our fish oil in particular, omega-3, is that most of the omegas that we find in the mocat are very compromised. For example, omega-3 needs eight, eight molecules. In other words, I'm saying our products are complete. Omega-3 needs eight molecules. Most of the ones in the shop have just got two. And I want you to start reading labels. Somebody has said, if you want to hide something from an African, put it in a book, because we do not read. There are only two, EPA and DHA. Those are only two of the omegas. You need all the eight. Because if a product is compromised, doesn't have all the eight, it means even you are not getting all the eight. So our omega-3 salmon oil plus has got all the eight molecules. What we mean is that if you took fish from the Mediterranean, where the salmon fish comes from, and ate it directly, you'd get all the eight. Because when you take only two, you're not going to get value. Here in Africa, we've got the tropical water. We're in the tropics where it's hot. So as we got, we get what we call cod liver oil. Cod liver oil only has two. And most of us called, grew up with the cod liver oil as children to help us prevent uh, colds and flus, to help us prevent things like asthma. But then you need the omega-3 that's got all the eight molecules because when you don't get all the eight, you are actually not having value for your money. In other words, it keeps the potency, the value that it should have. Our omega-3 is so well done that they use a system they call cold pressing, cold pressed. They extract it and they make sure that the potency, the value it had from the sea, is the same one you get when you consume the product. So I think I want to stop there in the interest of time and congratulate you for joining us. It has been nice talking to you. And if you're a visitor on this call or a guest, somebody invited you, that's a very great friend of yours, talk to them after this session. They'll tell you how to get these products and what they can do for you. For me, I've used your life products for the last 27 years. I have no regrets. Like I mentioned at the beginning, I'm already 57. I don't feel it. I don't look it. I have such much energy. I wake up at four and sleep at 10 and my energy levels are not compromised. There's nothing I can do that a young person cannot do. 
and being a grandmother, there is nothing as well. In fact, today I'm very excited because my grandchild is around. After this session, I'm just going to have a nice time with her. And just imagining I've got that energy to keep up with her at a year old. It's amazing. Thank you so much, Fred and the team for inviting me. And I'm looking forward to seeing all of us uh, on Saturday. We've got a weekend function. One of the top distributors is coming to Nairobi. Make sure you'll be at that function. The person who invited you will tell you what is happening. Thank you, Fred. And I think back to you, Fred. Thank you very much for having me. I appreciate it. Fantastic, fantastic so much, uh, Maggie. That was powerful. That was so powerful. Um, I'm so, so excited about that presentation. I can see the comments. Everybody is excited. Somebody is asking about migraines. Just give your child a lot of omega-3 and the migraines will disappear. Um, if you, like Maggie said, if you want to get these products, talk to the person who invited you. Uh, but better still, join the company, become a distributor and start using the products even as you deal with them as a distributor. If you want to know more about the business side of things, let's meet tomorrow at 8 o'clock on the same link with Pascal Olo where he'll be explaining how you can get involved, how you can get started with your life, and how you can join us on this mission to make the world a healthier and a happier place. And just to emphasize, I look forward to seeing you on Saturday when we'll be at KSCC with Charlie Bolton. Come and taste, feel the product, see the product, get to hear live testimonies, get to learn how to build your business with somebody who's earning more than 10 million shillings, not a year, a month. And that will be happening at KICC. So if you want to make some serious money, join us on Saturday at KICC uh, for the um, weekend function. We'll be doing it Saturday and also Sunday. It's Saturday, um, full day, and then Sunday we do half day and we are done. So otherwise, it was great having you on the call. Uh, next week, we'll be at KICC, so we won't have this um, session, but we'll continue the other week after KICC. So thank you all, God bless you, and have a restful evening. This recording will be available a little bit later. You can get a recording from your upline or the person who invited you, and you can be able to share it with a friend, a neighbor, a cousin. And let's, let us embark on this mission of making the world a healthier and a happier place. Thank you all, God bless you, and bye.